All right, hello, hello. Uh, we're out here. With a little bit of Red Dead 2. Is what we're going to be doing. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, my neighbor's <laughs> chainsawing his trees right now. So uh, don't mind that. Um, if you can uh, hear that. So, uh, again, been having weird internet problems all day. I did try to start Red Dead 2. The reason that matters is because you have to connect to um, Rockstar Games, their service, uh, in order to play it. Uh, worked before, should work now, so we'll get it fired up and uh, fucking get to getting. I'm really excited. It is good to see you guys uh, here. A lot of members in the chat. Uh, uh, Dago, Blue Donkey, Nikki, good to see you. Jake Martin, uh, good to see you guys. Ronald, Patty, uh, Ronald Guzman, and uh, Patty Dunn did it again. Good to see both of you guys. As soon as the game actually starts up here, I'll switch over to the uh, live cam of that, uh, the game footage. Footage. Game feed, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. It's starting now. Um, I'm super excited because, uh, I got my Xbox set to, uh, New Zealand for WWE 2K24, which, uh, the early access starts, if you're in New Zealand, it starts for me at 4am, uh, tomorrow, so I'm stoked on that. I was wondering, I was thinking about streaming it, but again, I, uh, have a problem with streaming, like, console, because it'd be behind me, um, so... May have to wait for it to come to PC before I stream it. Jake says he's here for the duration. I don't even have my Red Dead map pulled up. I don't know if we'll really need it. If I need to reference it. What's my percentage? We'll find out here soon. There, uh, Digo. Dago? Dago? Well, I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> yeah, Patty. Uh, uh, that about uh, sounds right there. Okay, so let me pull up this RDR2 map. So that I have... That on hand. And ready to go if necessary. Then we'll just layer everything else over it real quick. Go ahead and this and that. Ah, piss. Um, okay. We should be good after this last screen flash there. Okay. Okay. So right now uh, we're doing a lot of the missions, or at least some of them. Because <coughs> we've done... Almost everything else you could do in Chapter 2 here. Um, but I haven't even unlocked fishing yet. And that's something that I'd like to do. And we need to keep an eye out for item requests. Uh, people in the camp will request items. And we gotta, you know, fucking find them. So. And if we don't do that, we'll end up missing them. Oh, yeah, my percentage. Also, what is my volume at? 100%, okay. I'm turn it up down here. Could just be a little louder in my headset is all. Okay. I think that's in here, right? Nope. Probably in progress. 44% on total completion. I've done dick for challenges. Oh, I did all the explorer challenges. None of the gambling challenges, which I, I heard were the worst. Haven't even started the bandit ones. Um, herbalist, one of ten. Horseman, two of ten. Master hunter, one of ten. Sharpshooter, one of ten. Um, the compendium's getting filled out. We have 81 of the animals discovered. But we're gonna see, we're gonna have to go back and, uh, you know, finish up on some of, the, some of these, what, I've killed or something? No, I've tracked but not killed and shit like that, so. Yeah, I heard the gambling was really, uh, fucked. Yeah, this is, I believe, episode 7 of my 100%ing Red Dead <laughs> stream series. Most of these episodes are over 8 hours long. How much time do we have? Does it tell you? Like, how long you've spent playing the game? I miss the old style of, like, uh, 
Rockstar games where they would literally just tell you every single little stat just in a list. Let, let's see if I go to load the game. No, that just says like what time it was saved. Well, whatever. We'll go to John. See what he has to say about all this. Wait, who's that other mission? M, what, Micah? What's Micah want? I have an 85, oh yeah, probably. Okay, whatever. John? I'd get on. Good, and you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next oh, time, let the, the wolves microphone. eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> yeah, Dale, that's uh, it's good to have you here. Hello to Shadow the Cat. And Matthew LeBlanc, good to see you. Oh, shit. I think this Abigail mission is the fishing mission. Favor. Probably a fisher not. of men. Here we go. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Nice, Matthew. Nice. Thank you. Dope. Okay, so now we'll finally be able to start fishing. We go catch now we can go catch the legendary fish, so we won't even be doing story missions. Yeah, but I'm stoked on a uh, WWE 2K24 coming out. Like uh I loose leaf okay, like when I was a kid in the attitude era in the nineties, I fucking watched wrestling all the time. Uh, Ruthless Aggression Era, pretty much the same thing. Um, so like up through the early 2000s, and then I like kind of phased out there for a little bit, didn't really watch any of it. Uh, but recently I've been watching the shit out of it. I've gone to more WWE events in the last like year and a half than I have probably my entire life. Like I've gone to like three or four of them um, in the past year. And uh, I've just been, I've, I have found this new, you know, love for it and uh i've been doing work with the local indie fed too where i've been doing ring announcing and trying to help them with their media stuff and uh getting to know everybody in that circle so it's been really uh it's been really fun to like have that you know fun with it again but i've even if i wasn't i love wrestling games like the games are always really fucking fun um yeah we got the legendary moose it just gave it to us uh, once we rode away. And then Dago with a fat $5 super chat. Dago, any chance we'll see you at the Level Up Expo? Where is it? And when is it? Let me check. If it's super soon, probably not. But, uh... Oh, it's in Las Vegas. Okay. I'm looking at it right now. Um, when is it? I just said, uh, oh, here, I'll just get my badge and I'm sure it'll tell me. April, ooh, April? At the end of April? Probably not. Because um, I'm going to have to book uh, flights and hotels down to uh, Las Vegas for November for New Vegas Day. So, like, I'm already going to be having that trip. So, uh, if I planned it, like, if I... Would have planned it a uh, year out or, you know, six or seven months out, then maybe, but <laughs> I already have a, a Vegas trip, like, in in the works. Yeah, w, WCW versus WO and N64, fucking No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000. 
Um, no, Vince is not. Okay, so here's what's going on with Vince and Brock. Where? So, like, uh, they're involved in the showcase mode because this stuff happened, like, too late in development for Vince and Brock to be taken out of, like, the showcase. But Dag uh, Dag uh, Dago, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Unfortunately, this year doesn't look like I'll be making it down to the Level Up uh, uh, Expo. I'll be at the Spokane Comic Con in June. And then I'll be at New Vegas Day, November 16th and 17th, which is in the Las Vegas area, too, over in Good Springs. And uh, I'm trying to think, the, I think there was one more public appearance. I'll be at every Relentless Wrestling show. That's more local, that's in Spokane. We're, we're doing Northern Quest on March 30th with Dan Housen and fucking Mustafa Ali and fucking... There's, there's, there's a few. TJP will be, he's our champion. He won the uh, heavyweight championship for our uh, group uh, last month and he was uh, he's a former WWE cruiserweight champion uh, in uh, New Japan junior tag and uh, he was suicide in uh, TNA um, he was the X division champion twice over there as well it's been really fun to do that kind of stuff but uh, so McMahon and Brock are gonna be in uh, the showcase mode and I believe Brock is playable in the showcase mode because uh, the match that it's featured in is uh, the uh, him breaking the streak. Uh, there's two of them, uh, him and Taker at WrestleMania, and then uh, Roman and him. And I believe we play as him in the showcase during the Taker match to beat the streak, but that's like... Uh, he is not playable in exhibition or any, anywhere outside of showcase. They removed his uh, he, they removed his character from it. Dude, hell yeah, Dave! Classic games are the best. Retro games are the best. I I love them. Now there is a trick to this. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug. That's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. No, I've what? I've already started shit with somebody. Is it a uh, Matthew. See him fighting there, Jack? <laughs> for a potential That's match. You gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. I picked a fucking death match wrestler to run my mouth to. So that was a, a great idea. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. My favorite is when Arthur goes to throw a fish back, but it just like eats shit and dies. I want to make something. Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. What's my signature move? I, I like doing the pedigree. Fish on the line. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. What do we got here? This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Um, how big is it? 13 ounces, hello. Ultimate muscle on GameCube. Yeah, a little Triple H. Yeah, you know what's up. You know what's up. <laughs> this is a good-ass move. It looks really good, and if I'm being candid and... Not speaking in kayfabe, it's really easy to pull off safely with minimal training on both ends. Guy has to take a fucking face bump. I gotta make sure that I don't land on him and fucking hurt him. You know what I mean? And then it's uh, it's pretty easy to pull off, and it looks impressive too. Like when you do it, people are like, oh shit, the pedigree. You know, especially people that don't normally get in the ring, um, like myself. Like it looks, you know, I'm not some fucking wrestling guru or anything, but uh. That's why, I, that's why I like it so much, is I don't gotta lift anybody. They don't gotta take some weird fucking bump. They just land on their fucking chest, bada, bada bing, bada boom. I let go of the arms. Triple H doesn't sometimes. 
I let go of the arms, lets them take that face bump with uh, both their hands out. Yours is the mandible claw, fuck yeah. Hey, look at this. I have a signed Mr. Hey, Sako above me right now. Necklace? <laughs> What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Oh my god, Dornan cut me out of my power armor again. Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a... Yeah, Dale, that's pretty much what I did. <laughs> uh, I started talking uh, this uh, very accomplished deathmatch wrestler named Akira. Nice to finally meet. Uh, was talking a bunch of shit about how Twitch streamers I can beat in a fight, and then he said all of them. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Thousand dollars. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have fun with it. So. But I got to be hitting the gym. I'm fatty McFat fat right now, and I need to be at least trimmed up and fucking get some cardio in and lift a bit, so I don't look like a dipshit when I when I go up against a legitimate deathmatch fighter. I don't use the Pepsi Plunge. My cousin does though. James Diesel. Uh, he wrestled for a three two one battle in uh, Seattle. And he's, this is my uh, offer, he's been doing Morgan. training with Relentless as well. He does the Pepsi Plunge top rope pedigree. Ooh wee. Oh, ooh fucking wee, man. Anyway, that shit scares me. Milton. He does it good. See, he knows what I he's doing, but uh, ooh wee. I just do so normal pedigree. I, like I said, I like the pedigree because it's <laughs> it's super philosophy. safe. You don't have to worry about it. I feel like once you get up on the rope, it's a little less safe. It's essentially the same thing, but you have that danger of being so high up. I know there's fatty wrestlers, I but... I can lose some so belly and gain some arms. If my arms match my belly, we'd be doing all right, brother. Slow, we'd be doing all right, but, but they do not. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. Arthur is you furious. Savagery and you, will die. Savagery. you don't have the cojones to wrestle? Dude, it hurts like a son of a bitch. I think the biggest grift of all time is people thinking pro wrestling is day, fake. Morgan. That's a fucking right. grift, brother. Enjoy your fishing, That's a fucking kid. grift. Why you still can. Like, when you get in the ring, you're not trying to kill this motherfucker. Sometimes you are. Some of these, you know, sometimes guys don't like each other and they do want to, you know, rough each other up a little bit. Not trying to kill each other. That's unprofessional. <laughs> Unless you're new, Jack. <laughs> Bless his heart. Rest in peace. Um, fucking. That ring is not a fucking mattress. It's not a fucking trampoline. It's not, like, it. It's a little softer than a living room floor, man. Because what you got is you got the beams, like the beams that... And they are flexi beams, usually. Especially the high spot rings that the indies use. Um, and the WWE ring that I felt fucking felt harder than our than our high spots ring. Um, stiff ass fucking ring that WWE has. But uh, you have the flexi beams, and then you have two by fours on top of that. The whole ring uh, that's under is a bunch of two by fours, all lined up in that shape, and you know the ring shape. And then they roll a thin layer of fucking padding over that over those two by fours, and then throw canvas over it. That's a that's a wrestling ring. Like it's not, <laughs> it it hurts like a bitch when you and like it's and some people are like, well, they get used to it. And I just don't think they do, man. I don't think there's a way to get used to it. It sucks. <laughs> it like sucks it to get fucking slammed okay. on that thing, man. I think now, sometimes does it okay? Does it suck less out. in other times it than is. it does? Like yes, sometimes it doesn't suck as bad, and, and sometimes it sucks really bad. Taking a choke slam hurts like a son of a bitch. You would think, oh, that's a real easy one because you're just taking a back bump. You take a choke slam right, you get real up there, you vault on that guy's shoulders. Holy shit, brother! Suplexes hurt like a son of a bitch. I quit doing training for. Uh, I haven't gotten back in the ring after taking a shoot suplex. Ooh wee. Landed a little bit weird. Knocked the fucking wind out of me. Oh my god. And it wasn't homeboy's fault who threw the suplex on me. It was just the way it fucking you know landed. Anyway, now a lot of these guys are in very good shape. They're very athletic. Uh, they're. Okay. Uh. You, did real you know what I mean? Like they're Thanks. they're they're more built for it than my fat ass, but it still fucking hurts, man. What? 
I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um... Milton now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence until it's an actual fight. It's not an actual fight. The winners are in almost every pro wrestling match. 98, 99% of pro wrestling matches you see. The booker has come and said, this is the guy winning the match. This is the reason they're winning. This is what's going on. I'd like this to happen in the match. Usually, maybe you have an agent that sets up the match, and they're like, oh, I want these spots to happen. Can you do that? Why didn't you take it? Very funny. But doing it hurts <laughs> like a son of a bitch. <laughs> You're doing a performance. Now, I think a lot of those guys, when they're in a big old arena with 20,000 people yelling at stuff, that adrenaline enough. carries them through that yes, shit. Yeah. Or it doesn't hurt as much in the match. But believe me, when they wake up in the morning, it. Mm, 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 mm. There's we no way. Turned a corner. We survived their mountains. We just so it's the biggest grip of all time because the casual person. You know, in no fault of them, be like, oh, that shit's fake. Because that's, that's what they've been taught, you know? And, like, I, even if they mean, like, oh, it's choreographed, using that word fake, I don't like it no more. <laughs> How are you? I use it as a... Not too bad. As what we're doing here, you know, like a description of, uh, you know, how people... So you, you saw Pinkertons, did you? Anyway. Saw, met, and have you ever played Stardew Valley? Home. Eli, yes. Yes, I have. Love it. Trouble, Terrific game. Uh, Terrific game. I haven't played it in years, but I heard there was a major update coming if it didn't just so land. Okay. Ooh, we got a robbery open. Let's do that. Let's. Ooh. I hear it, brother. Hey, you busy, uh, Arthur? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard. Oh yeah, when when Piper took his clothes off on really the Bill Maher show. Yeah, dude. Freakish. See, Hogan I mean, always did it like a now, fucking bully. Like that one time Hogan got that guy in a fucking headlock. So. And so choked him out on stage, and he like cracked his fucking head on the ground. They're That's a shitty way to show people. And uh, Schultz did the same well, thing where he just slapped the piss out of the journo. I love it. And it's one of my favorite clips of all time. And I think he was completely at the right to do it. But I think that's the wrong way to show them that it's real. Okay, then. Dude, just being overly aggressive. Piper showing his battle wounds is real deal Holyfield, man. Piper, it, oh, Piper's a fucking legend, man. Hey, Red Foo, good to see you. Is this the Marston Gaines, the Dutch Vanderlyn gain there, son? That slap was money, dude. He slapped the shit out of him. Guy's lucky to be, like, le like he didn't get as hurt as he could have been. Let's put it that way. Hey, Soggy Doggy, good to see you. You're okay, girl. All right, let's go, bud. Yeah, Piper on Sunny was great. Uh, that whole episode is really good. And then at the end with uh, Frank, <laughs> Danny DeVito, knew this shit wasn't fake. <laughs> Love it, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hoping to bring you guys some more relentless stuff. They're getting their YouTube channel set up, and I'm helping with as much of it as they want me to. And... Uh, that way, at least you can see matches for, with good quality and stuff. Uh, I can share them with you guys, because uh, a few of you out there are, are interested in like what Relentless is doing and being able to have high quality matches uh, to be able to show you guys will be fucking great. Uh, me and Chase, the promoter, are gonna run commentary on a bunch of the shows, which have legends on them, man, like Dexter Loomis, Gang Grail. Um, th th there's a couple more. I'm forgetting the names. But uh, a lot of, like, fucking legends have wrestled for Relentless, and uh, I'm going to do commentary on those and get some of those matches up. Not on my channel, on their channel, obviously. Big place, right? Is that a fucking coyote down there? Some kind of dog. You got your binoculars? My binoculars? I sure do. I need to see this. What is this? It's a fox. It's a silver fox. I'm gonna track it just to say that I did. See if you could spot anyone. All right. Any, oh yeah, this is the people that talk hilarious. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. 
Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. It's getting dark. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... <laughs> I got an idea. Follow me. I'm only calling my horse over so I can make sure I have weapons that I like. Alright, get off the horse. And also, it's cold up here, apparently. You gotta know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's go, girl. I know when to run. You gotta run. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. I like to bring a shoddy. Bring the pump action with us. And we got Billy Midnight's pistol. Okay, stick close now. Just hold up, Charles. Are you alright? Shut the fuck up, Charles. <laughs> okay, um, let's go. I'll quit fucking around now. All right. All you have is gay inoculars. Those, those are the best kind. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> Jake, you're gonna shout as you want me to talk really loud. Well, I'm probably not gonna shout or anything, but I should still be here when you get back. Behind the shed, see if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt a pig this time with mouth. Creepers, don't score notions in the dicky. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone but ten minutes, I was. Kalali gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flagger your felt. Oh, dude, you don't want to get your felt flaggered. You should pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go. You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? Yeah, he's cruising for a felt flaggerin'. I agree. Yeah, it's a real world 50 cal from France. Yeah, uh, somebody brought one to New Vegas Day this year. Or last last year, rather. Fucking real deal anti materiel rifle. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. What the hickory dickory? We got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey. Oh, she's going to flag her our felt. Ooh. Took care of 
that shit. Um, yeah, I'll take the canned vegetable. Alright, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. And I got the... The fucking see the like uh, we've been here before. I got the um gun that was hanging above the fireplace. We'll look again. Thank you for the live reacts. I do see those, by the way. Yeah, forty-four percent is what we're at for uh, overall completion. The story, it's like fourteen or something. Let me see. Nineteen uh, percent on the story. Place else that could store it. Yeah, we'll get there. Is that Charles or Javier? I forget. Hey, it is Javier. I called him Charles earlier. But I was quoting the Juggernaut bitch. Which is truly a story of our time. Yes, yeah, he already looted this shit. Luckily they hide the the main stash from you if you come here before. Do you want the money or not? Come on. <clears throat> <coughs> ah, well, look what we have here. Well, well, well. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Sounds good. Hell yeah. <coughs> I am almost positive we have that gun. Because I just collected everything I fucking could. And now we're going to do legendary fish. You think Javier turns into a bitch at the end? Oh my god, soggy doggy. That is some... That is some opinion you got there. <laughs> I think it, I think it usually is up there. Oh, uh, fuck it. I know that I grabbed it. He completely turns on you? What am I not remembering? So I do not remember him doing that. Well, I know that I'm not counting the events of Red Dead 1. Like I said, I know how the story it eventually culminates. I haven't played through all of the epilogue. Is that what you're referring to? Because I feel like I haven't played through the epilogue, and maybe that's what I'm missing. Okay, so let's go to a shop so that we can buy uh, fishing stuff, just in case we need some. Oh, Javier says it. Does Javier side with Dutch? I think he points his air up in the his gun up in the air to like stay neutral. I thought that was like a huge plot point for Javier. Huh? Interesting. Yeah, Eli. Yeah, Eli knows what I'm fucking talking about. It might be different depending on your honor. It might be. It might be. This is a deep game.
Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Horse! I had you fucking set up and everything. Who just said you bastard? Alright. Since you came through town, ain't it? I'm sure you need a good meal after all the traveling you do. You need a good meal. Some meat and cheese on my. <laughs> some <calorie>. meat and cheese. <laughs> Sounded like Mark M. Uh, the boss in uh, Smiling Friends. Sick animation. Hey, no other outfit beats their. Hey, Fraggle. Good to see you. You'll get lost. All right, uh, Lake Lure. Appreciate it. Is that all we can buy? What? That doesn't make sense. Enjoy. Oh, that's right. You gotta go to, like, uh, Lagrasse, don't you, to get the special ones? Shit. A succulent Chinese meal? <laughs> that's it for now. Ah, uh, fuck. I love you, Chad. Because I think we have the map of the fish. Y'all, let me know if I'm missing something on how to start the legendary fish here. But I'm pretty sure we have to go to Lagros. Lagros? Lakai. I think it's like right here. Why is it not showing up on the map though? Oh, it's right there. Boom. Bait shop. Bait shop. Hey, yo. Take me to the bait shop. Ah, shit. Wait. I see you know your judo quite well, sir. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, you know what? I guess I could buy some more shit off you. Before we part. I like to be stocked up. Your boy's about to get fully stocked. That's done. Do some cooking Thanks. with that shit. We need to start collecting flowers too. Enjoy. Oh, we're filled up on hair tonic too. Okay then. Damn, we got like everything. Oh. Oh, so you can raid on YouTube. We were just talking you about this the other day. I got you covered. Uh, Fargazer, good to see you. Thank you for uh, bringing your viewers in here. It's not telling me how many you joined with. It just says that you've joined to say hello. Let me see here. Learn more. Oh, well, it won't let me learn more. Fuck me, right? <laughs> well, thank you, Fargazer. Good to see you. And everybody that came with him. Yeah, we're uh, we're doing a 100% right. run of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is like the seventh episode of this series. Um, we could be buying hats, too. Uh, we'll, we'll save the hat buying for later. Uh, right now, we are going to head down to the bait shop in La Grasse to... Um, Uh, buy the legendary bait stuff okay, so that we can uh, catch a legendary fish. A Fuck yeah it is, bud. I'm hoping to just camp and then um, fast travel. Hey, Bumfungus, good to see you.
You're also doing a 100% Red Dead run? You've rage quit for like three weeks? Oh my god. The taxidermy- Yeah, I know that there's gonna be some fucking... Gnarly things that I am not going to enjoy. Arthur! Oh, am I glad I found you. Arthur! They got Bill. What? Who has him? Bounty men. What the fuck is this? I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well... You coming? Well, my day's going great, uh, and the stream's going good, too. I, lo uh, I love Red Dead, too, so... I'm having a- I'm always having a great time hanging out in the chat and... Never returned. And, uh, playing some Red Dead 2. Alright! I was able to track them pretty easily. Having a good time. Mr. Fargazer. Gassier. I don't know. <laughs> Farg is what I'm gonna call you. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Fargy. Like it, it yeah, dude, I don't know how to do that. Uh, how to, like, uh, to join a stream. That? How do you do that? Is, like, raid another well, stream. Save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Because, uh, I want to I wanna be able to... I guess, I mean, if you can easily explain it, I don't expect you to type, like, a book out to try to help me with that, because I could look it up, but... I want to know how to do it on uh, Twitch too, and it was just like fucking slash raid. I was like, all right, that didn't quite seem right, but. <laughs> how? We, ooh, get these fucking cores up. to go now. Well, the horse is all fucked up. What's going on with that? You're a brave girl. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. Okay. Sure. There they are. On foot from here. Send it to me on Twitter, thank you. I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Give us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a nice warm cell. Then you can talk all you want. Their friends showed up. Shit, I should have done the old sneak attack. No, we flaggered there felt something fierce. That's right, Jake. Let's go. You get it. Get me out of here. Shut up, Bill. Oh, I'll get the ropes. I'm looting fellers. Come on, cut me loose. Oh, I owe you fellers. Damn for this. right, you do. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm heading to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you very much, Farg. I appreciate you. Yeah, because I want to, like, do that. Uh, a, it seems fun, and it's nice to do. Be like, oh, hey. Like, if I went right now, there's, like, 60 people in here. Join some other stream. But, you know, there's rarely... Like, uh, streams on YouTube the same way there is on Twitch. So, probably won't do it this time, but I'll research on how to do it. 
And then, uh... Do you use Restream? Farg? Because I do, and I wonder if that'll affect it at all. Hey, have a good dinner there, Eli. Yeah, no, that's dope, Farg. Oh, and Nukeman just gifted a TKS Mantis membership. Oh my god. Use the OBS plugin for dual streaming. Yeah, I wonder if it'll affect it. Uncle Cha, uh, congratulations on your gifted membership from Nukeman. Make sure to thank Nukeman for that. And thank you, Nukeman. I appreciate you. And do a little bit of uh, cooking here. Plain flaky fish. Oregano. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oregano uh, flaky fish is what we're cooking now. Okay, we'll uh, stow that up. Oh, oregano pork. Hey, Flesh Wolves, good to see you. We're just doing a little bit of, uh... Cooking in the wild here. Pork with oregano on it. Yeah, dude, I love this game so much. It's like, seriously in my top, like, three games of all time. <laughs> it's so good. I hope GTA 6 has as much detail and that, uh... Rockstar doesn't, like get lazy with that, you know what I mean? Because their games have so much detail and so much is going on in their open worlds that uh, that's what really draws me to their games and uh, I hope it doesn't lose that magic. It looks really good. Gritty fish. Hit the gritty fish, boys. <laughs> Yeah, Noah, that's right. It's always riveting in here. Cooking up our flaky fish or gritty fish. Make some coffee, don't need to. Um, poison throwing knife. Potent rat, what? It went away. It's a potent rat something. Okay, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go to road. Oh, fuck, I could've just fast traveled to, oh, piss. Could have just went to Lagrasse from uh, the fast travel menu. I didn't know it was a fast travel menu. Her location. So I went to Rhodes because I thought that was closest. I dread away. so. The fish hit the gritty. Yeah, that's right, Fraggle. You get it. I really like the way Rhodes looks. It's a dope town. We're out of here. Was it too hot for this outfit? No in truth, this man deserves no earthly Okay, and there's something going on over there that we're definitely gonna check out. Shit. Hopefully the gambler's for as a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. So just nobody at this funeral? <laughs> Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment <laughs> of grief. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. I didn't realize that my dog was sleeping in here. Let us pray Can for we this see him man, on cam? Oh Father, provide him mercy. Sleeping Amen. in his bed under the WWE title. I'm looking to see if I can get him on camera here. Hello, mister. Maybe you can see him. It's my oldest Troy. He's like 15 years old. He's doing well. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Yep. Bye now. A new fan knows that it's Miles. 
Did I say that? Or did you just remember my dog's name? Because that's wild. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know you were sleeping right there. Yeah, but that's my oldest chihuahua, Miles. Yes, it is Miles. That's wild that you remember that, Nuke Man. Dope. I appreciate you. Yeah, he's 14, I believe. 14. Maybe 13. 14 sounds more right. But he's an olden. But he doesn't really show, show his age yet, so... We're hoping for your, a few more years with him, because that is, he's like at his life expectancy, but, he, but he's doing good. Like, uh, he doesn't have any health problems really or anything like that, so. I've had him since he was a puppy, too. We got him, like, when he was just a couple months old. Hey, if Nuke Man's my FBI watchman, then at least I have a good FBI watchman. All right, girl. Yeah. Hi there, mister. Oh, it's you. Come here, please. Fuck is this? You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come on. Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good. But I said, all right. God, Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. They'll all be looking for you something fierce. They won't find me. Not this time. God. All right. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Oh my God! What is this? I was reading the chat. He did an NCR route. Nukeman cap this mofo. Yeah. No, you called it. Yeah, so we're going down to the bait shop here to hopefully get the bait that we need for the legendary fish. We'll go get all the legendary fish we can handle. Let me do one of these too. arrived. That's good. What's this? Let's uh okay, let me get off the road and I will definitely pet you. Hey boy. Hey boy. Yes. All right. Welcome to my shop, mister. I have a fresh supply of crawfish bait. You won't find better nowhere. Use it well. Oh, are those the only things we needed? No. She doesn't have them either. Because we need the special lures. Maybe they just give them to us? Shit, now I need to... Does anybody remember, like, uh, what we're supposed to do with that here? Let me see. Special lures. RDR2. Hey there, miss. Oh, I'm lonely. Um, special lake lure can okay, yeah, but how do I get them? Your 
It says at the bait shop in La Grosse. You can buy various types of bait at the bait shop. However, you unlock additional bait after accepting a fisher of men, including the special river lure. You have to meet Jeremy Gill. Didn't I already meet Jeremy Gill? Should find everything you need to fish these waters. Northern bank of Flat Iron Lake. Okay. Um. Now I need to get the chat back up. Yeah, Hamish gives you one. Um, he wasn't mentioned. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have any of the special ones. Fuck. That's too bad. Um, okay, hold up. I swear we talked to Jeremy Gill. I think I would have a document from that too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. Okay. Oh, we have the legendary animal map. Okay, where is Flat Iron Lake? I could find this out very easily by just pulling up my Red Dead map. Uh, I will go to Flat Iron. No results? What do you fucking mean? <laughs> well, I thought that'd be uh, much more efficient than it was. Um, from what I saw, we have to talk, ooh, my map's all fucked up. We have to talk to a fisherman, Jeremy Gill. Of Flat Iron Lake. But I'm not seeing any Flat Iron Lake. Holy shit, I feel inept right now. South of camp, big body of water. Oh, is it like one of these? Alright, here's camp. Flat neck station, that kind of makes sense. Is it this? Okay, so then... I bet you near Gill's Landing is where he is. Okay, let's just uh, ride up over here and kind of see what happens. And grill Landing, yeah. Yeah, let's see if that's where it is. I would hope so.
Gotta catch those legendary fish, boys. If it's dark, though, I'm gonna sleep until morning. I can't tell if that's morning or evening. It looks like morning. We'll see what time it is. Good evening. PM. All right. Evening. Lenny. Um. Is that stew done? God, don't you get the fuck out of the way. Evening, Arthur. I can't remember where I was going. Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. Sure, but what next? All that money. Lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money. And before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that, I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Hey. I ain't wavering, son. Okay, Mrs. Adler. We can also uh, update our outfits here. By the time he passed, he didn't know who's left from his right. Bad business. Um, let's see. Let's. So this one's for hot temperatures, hot temperatures. That one is to Alright, Grizzly Outlaw is always gonna be the one. Make sure this one isn't still okay good. Alright, then let's It's also for hot temperatures. I'm pretty sure the Grizzly Outlaw, okay, average. For some reason, the almost identical Pursuer is for hot temperatures, so we'll store that on the horse. And then for the cold temperatures, I think that's the only one we really have, so. All right. Hey, Keith, good to see you. So I'm hoping that works riding down there. I swear we've talked to Jeremy Gill this playthrough. I mean, I'm not going to go back through and watch every second of the fucking, like, 60 hours we have of uh, streaming this already. But, um, we'll go ride down there and see what's up. I, Hamish, I know, does have something to do with it. We could maybe ride out by his cabin, too. Um, I don't know if he has anything to do with starting that quest, though. Okay. Now my dogs are upset. I don't think I have the legendary fish map. I saw the legendary animal map there, John, in my stash here. Okay. 
at where it was. My dog is fucking going wild out there. Yeah, we have the legendary animal map, but I don't see the fish. I feel like the fish one would be right here, too. Yep. So we're gonna go right out to where Jeremy Gill is. And hope... That motherfucker's there. And that we can, uh... Hamish isn't available until chapter 6. Well, then we definitely start the mission before meeting him. Cause you could, you, you should be able to start catching power. legendary fish like right now. Easy there, girl. I really hope he's out here. seeing anything. Bunch of foxes. Oh! We got it, boys. We got it. <laughs> Thought she blows. Sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Oh, well. Nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. Like Troy McClure. So I get it. You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Yeah, pretty well. The fishing well, game online and in the story. So That's what I'm saying, John. Stuffed fish. Stuffed Push them in after I'll do my best. Let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, John. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there... There's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Staggering okay. for a flaggering. Jake, you are killing it today. You are killing it today. really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. Yeah, that is no money in tiddlers. So I hear. All right. So we got our fish map. Um. Does that mean we're gonna have to, uh... Special lures are now available for purchase in fucking Lugaros. Okay. Great. Great! So back we go. Okay, girl. Staggering for a flagrant. Yeah, Patty. Bass, cash, or hash. Nobody rides for free. I think I'm gonna open up 
fruit roll-ups. One of my tasty turps here. Give her a shot. I've been rocking with the gummy bears for quite some time. Was told at the dispensary that this one was quite delicious. Haven't tried it before. So, uh... Now we shall. Now we... Oh, I forgot to flagger him into the lake. He went inside, though, so I don't think we would have been able to pull him outside. Uh, one second here. Switch out the old cart for this new cart of fruit roll-ups from Tasty Terps. Come on now. The fuck is this? Alright. We're going for a taste test. I do like fruit roll-ups. I like that uh, fake fruit snack taste. So, uh, let's... I'll give it a good run. When you do that, it blinks because it, uh, it's firing it up for you. So since this is a new card, I'm going to let it do that. Let's see what uh, it has to say here. Fruit roll-ups. Melted uh, the diamond cartridge. It's hybrid. 87% cannabinoids. Hmm. <coughs> it's not as tasty as the gummy bears, which I also have a brand new full one of, but uh, it's not bad. I can kind of taste the fruit roll up. But the gummy bears, it tastes exactly like gummy bears. It's fucking wild. Blows my mind. Welcome back, mister. Very good. There we go. I just heard a gator. Now I feel like there's a hair in my mouth. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Glad to hear it. Anyway, guess I'll be on my way. See you around. Okay. I know that there's one down here. Yep, right there. That's the first one we're gonna get. I think it's the sturgeon. Fucking huge. You guys gonna check out that Nuka Victory from Joan Soda? Their fucking Nuka Cola Quantum is just their uh, berry lemonade, which is delicious. It's one of the best sodas I've ever had. So I feel like their Victory, it's red, so it's either gonna be their watermelon, but it looks more red than their watermelon, so I bet you it's gonna be their fruit punch. I hope it's not cherry. I'm not a big fan of. Uh, cherry flavored shit yeah well it's sold out fucking everywhere just like the quantum was but uh they're releasing it with the show Joan soda is legit as fuck anyway I mean if you see your, if you see a Joan soda at your supermarket and you've never had it before fucking pick one up the blue berry lemonade I'm gonna tell you right now that's my favorite one that's the best one they have a fucking green apple one that's really good too I like that one a lot if it doesn't make your piss glow, you don't want it. It might. Oh, there's something going on. Let's go, boys. 
Let's fucking go, boys. We got this shit. But we should change into our... Hot weather outfit here. Yeah, sure, that'll do. It was a mistake to take this route. All the gators. No fucking way. Give me my gun back. Please, please untie me now. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. It's about time to grab an actual Mountain Dew instead of this monster bullshit. Yes. I can't stand to touch him, and I don't want to ride indoors. Honey cream soda. Hmm. Yeah, all soda's crazy bad for you, though. So, might as well, you know, at least be drinking one that you really enjoy. <laughs> so, if that one's really good, then fuck yeah. I mean, I drink a ton of Mountain Dew. That's my fucking problem. One. Feed him to the gators, that's what I always Just say. One more. Wild Cherry Pepsi's pretty fucking dope. I like uh, uh, Cherry Coke, too. Dude, I, uh, I remember I was in high school, no, middle school, maybe. Could have been middle school. Um, when... Vanilla Coke Please, came out. It. You're all right now, ma'am. It's over. Um. Let's hope my horror found another guardian angel like you. <laughs> Should have just left the money in there, but whatever. Uh, and I was like, oh, this tastes like shit, but then I drink like two a day. <laughs> two, like, 20 ounce Appreciate bottles a day. Good luck to you. Fucking wild. I was like, this is gross, so I just kept drinking it. <laughs> You see that big bitch? I also just heard gunshots. Track him. The only reason I did this is so that we can add him to the fucking compendium. I heard gunshots. The horse fucking ran away. I still hear gunshots. Hey there, girl. Maybe it's none of my business. It's not showing up on the map as anything. Did it disappear for a while? I'm not sure. If you're talking about vanilla coke, um, I just remember when it came out and it hit the vending machines at least and I was like, oh well, fucking give this a shot and I was like, oh, this is bad and then I just kept fucking drinking it like every day. Like, oh well I guess I could get a vanilla coke. <laughs> like, it's like, oh this is disgusting, better have another one.
There's a gatey. Oh, you fucking- oh my god, you Judas! Those Arabian horses, man, are so skittish. Okay, anyway. We don't need them anyway, fuck it. Unexpected Bagel says something about Star Trek uh, Generations. Data gets emotional in the movie. It says the chief engineer go to the bar on the ship. Played by Whoopi Goldberg. Offers Data a drink and he drinks it and exclaims, I hate this. And uh, then he... Oh, yeah. It reminds me of like a Frasier joke. Um, <laughs> unexpected Bagel. Okay, so... The sturgeon should be... What, right here? Yep, perfect. Okay. So. Uh, is this a river? Okay. Are we on a river, or...? I mean, kind of? What is this? River. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's let's get them. Let's see if anything's biting. So we're fishing for the legendary sturgeon right now. I got some hooked. Okay, this may or may not be him. It might be him. My trick. Christ, it might be him. Damn, son. It does look like a sturgeon, whether or not it's legendary. It's for God to decide. <laughs> I hope it's him. You're magnificent. Yo, look at the size Whoa, of that bad boy. You? A sturgeon, perhaps. Legendary sturgeon, yeah. forty-six pounds. I caught a fish this big. Yeah, you can stay. <laughs> Quit exaggerating, Fry. All right. <laughs> Fucking train comes. Yeah, it looks like I'm cranking my hog. Well, yeah, well, sometimes you have to to get these fish, man. Maybe I could... <laughs> Terrific. Yeah, that was the first try. First try. Outfit back here. Got our big old fucking sturgeon here. Easy there, girl. Okay, so the face cam doesn't <laughs> doesn't do me any favors when um 
We're fishing, does it? That's too bad. I'll try to make it not look as bad, I guess. I don't really know what to do. Because you have to, like, reel it in like that. No, man, I just get really excited when it's fish time. Start cranking the old dog. Very passionate about fishing. Oh, the eugenics guy, holy shit. The legend is here. This fucking guy. I want you to ask yourself, do I consider myself pure? <laughs> fucking ridiculous. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Oh my god. Co-mingling. Nature? Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. What if they intentionally made him kind of look like Hitler, too? America, like, like if his mustache was more on point with Hitler, he'd look like almost exactly like him. On Earth, the way the hair is. Like the face. I, I mean, probably. You, Rockstar isn't very I shy about uh, the references they make. You. Ooh. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? We gotta take the pamphlet 100%. Uh... Read completion. I don't know if this is on that stuff. list, but it's on my list. You gotta fucking... Explain using get everything you can. Science, why we whites are under attack. And what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean... White people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is an alarming... Alarming information that I'm hearing right now. This is my first time being informed of this. No blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. You, sir. Or a real fool. Ooh. How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. <laughs> Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Help me! <laughs> Let's get him. Oh my lord! Get his ass. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, this has gone too far. This has gone too far. Nobody got mad though. Everybody just kinda ran away. Nobody I'm not in trouble with the law. I'm not in trouble with anything. Good to see you. Liberty is worth every penny. Got a sturgeon to send. That was the right move. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Cthulhu Warlord. We don't need that kind of press. Okay, so. We got the sturgeon, that was like the first one we got to, so that's one of the harder ones to get. Did somebody just do something? Let me see that chat. Keith has been a member for uh, one month, so I pitied that fully. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Dude, Mr. T, what a fucking legend that guy is. That that guy's a fucking legend. If it, like, 
If you don't, if you guys out there don't know much about Mr. T other than like, oh, he was on the A team, did some WWF stuff, like look into that guy. He's a fucking legend. Okay, so we got we got that. Let's get the second hardest one, which would be that uh, bullhead catfish over in the prison. I don't even know if you would call it like the second hardest one, but because it's in a restricted area, it's a little fucking wonky. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a reliable boat though. So what we would want to do is we would want to come up like right around these islands. And then we can get to uh, Siska Penitentiary. Hopefully by way of canoe or something like that would be nice. And that's where the bullhead catfish is going to be. So let's, uh, let's fucking go. He was in Rocky three. That's all you know. Definitely look him up. Soggy dog. He's fucking ridiculous. Like that guy is a legend. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoping maybe there'll be a boat in the harbor here that we could just, you know. Look, there's there's boats all over the goddamn place. I don't know if we can take one like like this. Can we take this boat? No. Ooh, what about this one, though? Uh. Nope. There's a canoe out there, though. Oh, but I bet you I'll die trying to swim to it. Pizza! We made it, boys. It's not even because this is a big boy. Alright, um. So now. We need to row our happy asses up to like over here. It'd be super dope if our horse followed us, too. Let's. See if it does. Hopefully it doesn't try to come into the water. I'm gonna hug the coastline. No, there's the person right there behind. Like, perfectly behind us right now. Dude, please don't be swimming in the water. How does it uh, compare to Red Dead Online? Yeah, uh, I would love like, oh shit, the horse is swimming in the water. Oh shit. That's gonna kill the horse. Oh my god. Oh, you dumbass. Come on. Yeah, get back. doing this to reset its follow and just in case I want to bring these things thank you we'll just have to recover the horse later yeah if uh like when it comes to like GTA online um 
I really enjoyed the roleplay servers that you could find with like 5M. I feel like Red Dead Online would be better as like a roleplay MMO situation than, you know, what it is. The first uh, Red Dead Redemption had a killer online situation, but it's much different than what I'm describing right now even, so... Trying to pull a never ending story. That's a good one, Patty. Yeah, I like playing the Undead Nightmare uh, stuff on the first Red Dead Redemption online. It was uh, like defending the church from zombies and shit. Oh man, it was so good. And I was like ranked number one in the United States at that uh, for a period of time. I was really good at it. Or at least when you see the leaderboards. I was on the top of it for a while. It was fucking dope. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... I mean, he's going to stop rowing. But I'm going to grab a uh, little sodi pop real quick. We're back. And don't you put any holes in my boat there, donkey. I ain't having none of that. <laughs> yeah, it didn't taste that bad. Gummy bears so far is my favorite, though. Hey, we're getting there. Christ. <coughs> hey, Eduardo. If you're the one playing New Vegas, I hope you're having a good time. And Ice, it's good to see you too. Ice Fletch. Sirloin, 9. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 remaster. Yeah, I heard about that. I'll definitely be checking it out. Closer, guys. Okay. I think it's in here. Now we're on restricted property. Oh, maybe it's up and through here. It will tell us on the map. Yeah, Sirloin will be dope. I haven't really played those, so uh, I'm definitely interested in checking them out. Hopefully we don't get spotted by the Copperinis. Or we're just out here trying to catch some fish. All 
Okay. Yeah, it might be in there then. Okay, let's see. I mean, it should say on the map. Let me look on my little, my little map here. Yeah, it's definitely like, it's like right where I put the fucking thing. Okay. Well then good. Just gotta get all my chat stuff back up here. My sun went down fast. I found a legendary fish location. My map has been updated. Bullhead catfish, you're coming with us. Hope you guys are hungry for catfish. So what does this count as then? Is this still going to be a special river lure? Looks like it. All right, boys. Yes, yeah, Sirloin, we're looking for that Q35. We might have just found it. We might have just found it. Time for more hog cranking. Oh, it's way, way easier than the sturgeon is. Legendary bullhead catfish. He said that they had to weigh at least ten pounds, but this one does not. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid. Okay. Okay, so we got the bullhead catfish. Found. Okay. Uh we'll go up to Lagrasse here and get the long nose uh gar. Here, um, probably camp until the morning because I don't want to get night f uh, folt. Nothing worse than getting night folt. Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, okay. We need to row back to our horse too. SG, SG instead of SD for Soggy Doggy. Fucking bow your head, Jake. How dare you? Alright, anyway. We'll go back to the horse. Get on that bad boy and uh, ride it up to uh, somewhere to camp. Wait until morning. And we already have an open mail at the fucking post office, so giggity 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 goo. Getting all the guarma snakes in your companion. From what I understand, the guarma animals do not count towards 100%, but they count towards my 100%. And a lot of guarma is broken, so... Don't worry, Sirloin, we're gonna fucking handle it. Good, good luck to you there, Sirloin. 
No, I'll love every second of it. I mean, uh, the, there are things that are frustrating and hard to do. I'm not trying to say that, but I fucking love this game, so... It doesn't... It doesn't bum me out too much. Land ho. Office here. Non existent? Hmm. Oh, it's way down there, but it's locked for some reason. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. Naomi Ryder. We should actually get stuff for the horse. Out of stable or something. Rename it to Naomi 2 instead of Naomi Rider. You sent me a lake lure. All right. What would you like to send? Is there a stable in San Denis? Yes, right down the fucking road. Yeah, because we have another horse named Naomi. So we're just going to name this one Naomi too. This guy's not even really blind. Someone there? Do you have anything to spare for a blind man? Oh, he is actually blind. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind? Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. All right. That's that. The hell? Oh, I thought it was dead. Hello, boy. Let me wake you up for okay, no reason. Boy. Come here. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. The Goal Mall in New Vegas. Uh, yeah, the Ultralux. Their um, their their restaurant is called the Gourmand. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, they uh, they're longtime cannibals. What do they mean? Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that, but it does look better. Your horse up. It's weird that it's a. Uh... Got a fancy streak, huh? Uh, nice. This horse will pass for nobility when I'm through. 
giving Naomi a little upgrade here. 